If you think your PC can't run Windows 11 because you get the message saying your PC doesn't support it, maybe because you don't have TPM or your CPU isn't supported or you have less RAM or you don't have SSD, the reality is your PC can run Windows 11 just fine officially. And I'm not saying that Microsoft says it. So this is the official website for the Windows 11's system requirements. If you go here, check, yeah, it looks kind of crazy, okay? You need TPM Secure Boot, UEFI, SSD, RAM, at least four gigabyte. But what most people don't know that this is actually a preferred system requirement. This is not a minimum system requirement. So here is a, another official Microsoft website where they talk about the minimum system requirement. So here we have the Windows 11 LTSC minimum system requirements. It's the same as the normal Windows 11. Okay, you need the TPM, UEFI, Secure Boot and everything, but we have the minimum system requirements here. The TPM is optional, Secure Boot is optional, UEFI is optional. So what this actually means is that Yes, your PC can run Windows 11, even if you don't have all the preferred system requirements. That's it. And again, I'm not saying that Microsoft says it. Okay, if you go to this website, I'll put link in the description for my blog post. There you'll find the link for this website. So you can go here and check this out. Now, in reality, there is only one huge change in Windows 11. That is the 32-bit CPU support yeah it does not support 32-bit cpu so if you have a system that only supports 32-bit yeah it doesn't support it so the minimum system requirements is that you need a 64-bit cpu if you have that your pc can actually run windows 11 officially again i'm not making this up it's here on the microsoft's official documentation i mean microsoft says that the preferred minimum system requirement is this, like you need TPM, secure boot and everything. But at the same time, they also mention here that, yeah, you can run Windows 11 even on older hardware, even if you don't have TPM or UEFI or SSD, okay? Yeah, you can also run Windows 11 on HDD. It's right there. You need only one thing, a CPU that supports 64-bit. That's it. That's the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Now, if you're trying to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 and you see this message that this PC currently doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirement, let's just say Microsoft doesn't want you to upgrade to Windows 11 if your PC doesn't have the preferred system requirements. But again, the reality is your PC can still run Windows 11 as long as your PC's CPU supports 64-bit. And you know what that means? Yes, Microsoft actually lets you bypass all these system requirements if your PC meets the minimum system requirements. And there are many tools that you can use to actually bypass preferred minimum system requirements. Like for example, there is this free and open source software called Flyby11. Recently they changed the name. Now it's called FlyOOB. Using this tool, you can upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 if it meets the minimum system requirements. Or you can use this software called Rufus, really popular tool to create a bootable USB drive. This also has a option to bypass the system requirements. So whichever tool you prefer, just use it. Like for example, if you want to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, use the Fly OOP. You can go to official GitHub page and then go to releases and download it from here. You'll need a Windows 11's official ISO file. So you can go to the official website from here, just get the ISO file. And on the Fly OOB, click on select option and click on select ISO from local file and then select the Windows 11 ISO file. And now it's gonna mount the ISO file and then it's gonna run the script to bypass the system requirement. Okay, so you can see it ran the PowerShell. Now it's gonna launch Windows setup, okay? just click next and then click accept. Here, if you don't want to lose all your data, the programs, files and everything, select the first option, keep files, settings and apps, and then click on next. And now it's gonna start upgrading your Windows 10 to Windows 11 without any issues. Because in reality, Windows 11 
actually runs on almost any PC, as long as your CPU supports 64-bit. Again, it's from the Microsoft. I'm not making this up. To make Windows 11 experience better and more secure, Microsoft wants you to have the preferred system requirements. That's the reason by default, Microsoft doesn't allow you to upgrade to Windows 11 if it doesn't meet the preferred system requirements. Now, one important thing I wanna mention here is that when you're upgrading from Windows 10 to 11, even if it's officially supported, like you have the preferred minimum system requirements or don't have, it doesn't actually matter. For better Windows 11 experience, I recommend you guys to do a clean installation if possible, okay? Back up your data and then do a clean install. It's not like you're gonna break your PC, but you know the Windows updates and upgrades. Sometimes they can cause some issues when you do a major upgrade of Windows. So it's my recommendation. If you can, please do a clean installation. Now, after the upgrade, you might be wondering, will I get all the updates and upgrades? Yes, for now, Microsoft doesn't say anything about the updates for Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Since this is the minimum system requirements, yes, you'll get all the Windows 11 updates. So this PC doesn't currently meet the system requirements because it's missing the TPM, but yeah, I can get the Windows 11 updates. You can see here, it already has one update available that I can just install, okay? Technically, Windows 11 actually supports almost every PC out there, even if it's old, as long as your CPU is 64-bit compatible. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.